Here are 4 common animation mistakes almost every beginner animator makes. So the first mistake is, using same FPS all the time. If you don't know what does FPS means, you must watch this video after this one. I have seen many beginner animators, that they just use the same FPS all the time. Whenever you open Flip a Club, by default, it shows you 12 FPS, and many of you just stick to that, and don't even try to use any other of them. Sticking to just one FPS all the time, can bound you and your creativity, so what should you do? Answer is very simple, be experimental, try using different number of FPS for different animations, like sometimes you can animate on 14 FPS, or sometime you can hop on 20, or maybe 16, or even 10. Try working on all of them and eventually you will understand, that which one works best for you. Like, when I started animating I always used to animate on 12 FPS, and all of my animations, that I have posted on this channel are made 12 FPS, but one day I thought let's try playing it on some other FPS, so I played it on 16, and when I played it on 16 it ran very fast, then I decreased it to 8, then it was looking somewhat good but a bit slow, so eventually I learned that 12 works best for me. 8, 10, 12, and 16 are the common FPS used by most of the beginners. And there's industry standard FPS which I've told in this video. And from past some time I am also animating on the same FPS. There is one more thing that I love to do, you all might know that, I always prefer to animate using pose to pose method. In this method firstly I draw all the key poses, then the breakdowns, and then further in betweens. So, when I draw all the keyframes, then I don't preview it on the same FPS I'm working on, while well, I lower down the FPS to around 4, and then I play it, this way I can see every keyframe very clearly, and it helps me to understand that how the end product is going to look like. If there is something which needs to be adjusted, then I come to that frame, and make the final changes. Second one is, using dark mode. Flippa Club has newly added the dark mode feature in their app. We all know dark mode is good for our eyes, it helps reduce the strain on eyes. But there is a problem in dark mode of Flipper Club. Whenever you click on the layer option, you can see all the layers, but you can't really see what you have actually drawn in that layer. It doesn't shows you the thumbnail of that layer, which makes it difficult for you to pick the right layer. This way you either have to name all the layers, or you will have to toggle the eye button again and again, to see what you have drawn on that layer. Which is very time consuming and bothering. It's just my personal opinion, that if you will use the regular light mode, it will be easier for you to draw on different layers. Moreover it is up to you, both have theirs pros and cons, you can choose whichever works best for you. The third one is, not using anchor point correctly. Whenever we need to resize or rotate something in Flip a Club, we just make a selection of it, and move it as we like, but this is not the best method to do it. You should always change the anchor point from center, to the point from where you want to rotate or scale it. But keep one thing in mind that, anchor point should be changed only when the selected object is not moving from the center. One more amazing hack of Flip a Club is that, whenever you want to copy and move something in many frames, but from the same point, then you should also copy the anchor point of it. All you have to do is, make a selection of it, move the anchor point wherever you want, then click on this copy button, and now come to the next frame and paste it. Now you will notice that, it has also copied the anchor point of it, which means you can move it from the same point as before, which is really helpful, or else you will have to change the anchor point of it again and again for every single frame. Fourth mistake is, not using animation principles. I have already shared in many of my previous videos, that you should use principles of animation. But many of you don't actually know that, where and how to use them, because there are 12 animation principles, and sometimes it becomes confusing, to understand that which one will be applied in your animation. So what should you do? All of these are super helpful, but, there are only 3 of them that should be used in almost every animation, these are, easing, squash and stretch, and arcs. These are the three animation principles which are used in my almost every animation. Here is an animation with none of them, and in this one all of them are used. Now, after applying all three of these, you can add some more principles like smears, follow through, secondary actions, and much more. For example, whenever there is a quick or fast moving action, you should always use arcs and smears, and when there is a secondary object attached to the main body then, using follow through is a must, and whenever you want to show things like surprise or excitement, you must use anticipation. I am also thinking to make a video about explaining all these principles in very detail, do let me know in the comments if I should make it or not. 